Look and see if there's any gear here. Nope. It's all pretty berry, eh? Well, be careful what you wish for, eh? It's been pretty much the the highest January I can remember and now we've got plenty of it or well, some of it anyway bit of ice here actually woohoo hey so conditions they're not they're not great we've got a lot of soft snow on top of some turf and a wee bit of ice here so that's boding well for higher up we've got a bit of a mixed pitch coming up so I'm just heading over left here to get a belay in this cave and then I'll be bringing Rich up and uh, he'll be heading on through definitely using the turf here I'm kind of reading the, the ground ahead and I'm aiming my axe where I can see just blades of vegetation or a wee bit of moss sticking out and turf makes a really good solid placement and I'm delighted when it does that lovely like thudding sound that soft thudding sound and I've got a couple of good axe placements there nice not so nice for the feet though yeah it's not bad at all looking for that nice kind of thud and then I just apply a bit of pressure there just to make sure the axe is secure before I commit my weight to it oh nice okie dokie hopefully we'll find a good bee lane here Looking for some crack lines that might get something in. I'm going to stash one of my axes straight away somewhere out of reach where I'm not going to knock it over with myself or pulling up the ropes. And I'll have a wee poke around. We've got some in situ gear here. So you know what? I'm just going to clip to that straight away, make myself safe whilst to have a look around for something to back it up. A bit of snow out of this crap beneath it and that might actually take a small wire. It's always a lot more fiddly in winter to get some good gear placements. Need to particularly look out for icing on the side of the rock put a wee tap in there just a gentle tap to seat it and then I tend to put the pick of my axe through and just give it a wee pull there just to seat it in and make sure it's not just sat on some little novel of ice so that's not a bad wire that but I'm just going to have a look around and see if I can get something a wee bit bigger than that see if there's maybe something in under here so just clearing to see if I can get anything to back up that small wire I've just put in. Friends won't be my first choice in winter because of the icing on the side of the crack, but we'll see. Might be, yeah, there's possibility for another wire here actually. Maybe a medium wire. Right. When I'm constructing belays in winter, it's always a balance between time it takes and security and bomb proofness just placing it in giving it a wee just a wee seat with the axe so i think that'll be good for a downward pull it wouldn't be great for an outward pull so definitely going to extend down off here and stand beneath it when i 
centralise the two points. So I've got two good bits of gear now and because Rich is leading through I'm just going to clip the two ropes independently. I don't need to centralise them because we're swapping uh, leads on the velo. So I'll clove it in on and then I'm just dropping down so I'll get a nice downward pull on this hex because it's absolutely crucial that any pull on your anchor pants is tight and in line below the anchor. Got screw gates on both these. Sometimes I might not have screw gates on both, just depends how many I've got left. But if I've got snap links, I want to, you know, absolutely ensure tight and in line below them and tensioned off on both ropes. So that puts me in a good, pretty good position because Rich is going to actually lead through there. So I'm going to be well out of the way and out the firing line. So safe, Rich! Off, Billy! Heather!